Hi everyone, Mental Health Monday. So today we're gonna to talk about trauma and the fitness and nutrition industry. So trauma affects everyone. Childhood trauma from like absent, abusive, or like an emotionally not there parent, or parents who were constantly commenting on your body or their or their body or on their, they're always on a diet, they're always critiquing your food, their food, and all of that. This can become ingrained in our minds and is very hard to break and change that pattern, especially if you've been in the pattern for a really long time. Um, honestly, we're also going through collective trauma, uh, being in a global pandemic that is like collective trauma, like 9-11 and things like that, that's collective trauma. So we've all had trauma. Some people don't realize it's trauma, but it is. Um, and past or current unresolved trauma can cause kind of certain eating patterns like high calorie consumption yet still being malnourished so that's like you're eating a bunch of junk food but you're not eating like fruits and veggies um that type of thing so a lot of people experience trauma like I said nothing is too big or too small as long as it's impactful um to you more than likely it's something that's trauma so there's something that's called the stress web and it's different degrees of severity of trauma so the stress web has eight different things so you have environmental which is like noise crowding air pollution crime you have your social which is abusive relationships co-worker conflicts disputes with neighbors isolation rejection and marriage problems you have your physical which is overtraining nutritional deficiencies food allergies intolerances extreme dieting and dehydration again these are all things that are going to cause stress in our lives um, you got mental, which is your mental fog, your lack of focus, forgetfulness, indecisiveness. Cultural, which is not fitting in at work, not knowing a country's customs or speaking a certain language. Emotional is resentment, anger, anxiety, depression, and grief. Financial is like precarious work, financial insecurity, the inab inability to pay bills. And then you have your psycho-spiritual, which is like your lack of meaning, despair, and hopelessness. All of those things either cause stress or happen because of stress or stress comes out of those situations. Um, it's just a lot all the time. Honestly, being a human and existing can be a lot and can be very stressful. Um, and some of these things make longer lasting um, influences in our lives. So when most people think of trauma, they think of like big T trauma, which is like SA or PTSD. Uh, but little t trauma are also the things that have a strong lasting impression uh, with events that may not even seem like they could be like a big deal. Like I said, it really depends on the person. Um, so like little t trauma are like things like your parents commenting on your body when you were younger and you not really realizing that. And now older, you're dealing with all of these feelings um, you know, about your body and the way you look and never really achieving body neutrality because that was what was always ingrained in your head and not even realizing that that is trauma. That's just little T trauma instead of like big T trauma. Still trauma, still trauma. Um, so trauma changes your brain and we see it come out in health be in like different types of health behaviors. So like if you aren't sure how you're feeling, if you aren't sure if something hurts or not, um, or if you like you're hungry or you're full, if you can't remember your food behaviors as a child, like if someone asks, oh, how did you eat growing up? And you're like, I don't know. Um, those types of things. If you become frozen or avoid things or feel powerless, uh, for example, you just found yourself eating and you don't know what happened. Um, if you have deeply negative feelings about yourself, you have a bigger reaction than expected for like mundane changes. So like you're either getting super angry, you're walking away from a conversation or becoming very quiet or completely disengaging altogether. Those are our fight, flight, and freeze responses. Or maybe you just always want to please because that's a safer option. That's going to be your fawning um, response. So trauma also changes our physical health by creating elevated inflammation in our bodies, hormonal problems, and unexplained pain. Um, trauma causes stress. Stress causes a cortisol level. Cortisol level causes inflammation in the body, which causes health problems is kind of the easier way to explain it. Um, if you have a history of trauma, you may overeat or binge, compensate after overeating, control and restrict eating, come up with strict rules with harsh consequences, 
do things that seem confusing or contradictory, such as like dieting in the morning and binging at night, um, and then checking out or getting brain fog around food. However, you can grow, change, heal, and break the trauma cycle. So if you connect with or have experienced anything like I said in this entire video, please, please, please go see a mental health provider to help you work through that trauma since that's the first step to healing and breaking the cycle. And then you can keep on going from there. It is very hard to break trauma cycles. It is very hard to break generational cycles, but we're out here doing it every day and it's hard and it sucks sometimes, but you got this.